So it's the 29th of August. This is your daily crypto debrief. We've got one of the tokens that we like or I like. It's now up apparently 40%. We'll be going over that. There's a decent amount of news with regards to NFTs. Some are doing well, some aren't doing well. And in general, this is actually packed full of positive Solana news. Let's dive in. So crypto markets, they went down actually and they've just bounced up a little bit. We were, we're still down a little bit with Solana. Nothing much here. Last 24 hours, and the big movers, nothing crazy. What we do have is this from Sanctum. So BN Sol, Binance may come out with their own liquid staking token that's directed to with uh, Sanctum. Who knows? Let's have a quick look at Sanctum's token. Uh, we'll use Bird actually or Dex Screener, but I hear it's gone on a little bit of a pump. So it's up 35%, just like that. Bam, 16 cents to here. If you want to take some profits, you're welcome to do so. Obviously, this is a pump based on the news that somehow Binance is going to be using Sanctum, which is cool. Good. Very good news. I like Sanctum a lot. Of course, with your soul, stake it with Felday.com. Let's jump in. So here's an actionable that you may be able to use in your own strategy. This is from Miles. This is related to the altcoin in index. And of course, you are going to have your favorite altcoins. There's a couple of ways to play it. Essentially, we are going down at present. Until we have some clear conviction that we're going up, we are actually going down, which is fine. Um, so taking profit in the blue zone and buying in the red zone. This could work out you it's still going down but if you're buying anywhere down here you could be pro taking profit up here with your favorite meme coin or not necessarily meme coin just an altcoin in general this is his thesis two ways to play it buy major dips into the bottom of the channel red zone buy after a breakout of structure confirmed uptrend the option you choose will depend on what kind of trade you are all right now there's still a little bit of fud against binance i really don't want anyone to fade binance they are the biggest whales in terms of exchanges. I use Binance. I like Binance. You can use whatever one's going to give you the most amount of rewards. Maybe that's a cube exchange as an example. Binance is still getting FUD, which relates to um, blocking Palestinians. And this is what they're saying. Uh, this is not, I'm not being political. I'm just saying don't fade Binance. It's only limited to a certain number of accounts that have been linked to illicit funds. They have, you know, responsibilities as a company with governments. Now, this is very big news. This was released yesterday. Global FinTech Fest. The founder and the CTO put a live demo basically showing at the very end, spoiler alert, sending Indian rupees from one person to another on the Solana blockchain. And so they do it in real time, which is crazy. Now, this company is uh, Infosys. I, I actually haven't heard of it. It's in India. It's got a massive market cap, almost $100 billion. And they built UPI, which is their unified payments interface, which is kind of like just instantaneous real-time uh, mobile uh, payments. And they handle $240 billion in monthly payments. So this is major news. Like imagine if Solana starts to use be used a lot just for India's um, Web2 payments, but it's on the blockchain. Really incredible. Now we've got a little bit of FUD here. So let's go into it. Not FUD from Lane. Lane's another uh, another validator, great validator. And but we've got FUD from this. Now there's going to be, it's very easy to get Twitter engagement. You just come out with negative Rubby, rubbish news, which is fine. Did you know that Sol is inflating at a rate of 30 million every day? No, it's not, but okay, we'll go over it. And ETH inflates at $6 million. Now, I've covered this before, but basically early on in ETH's kind of exposure before staking, the number of tokens, the inflation rate was much, much higher. And I'm really like, I would love to have a big bag of ETH and I'd love to have a conviction to, to hold it, but I just don't have that. And if you do, let me know why you do in the comments below. Now, the actual reality is it's $24 million per epoch, which is just under 12 million a day. So the figures overstate. So there's still a decent amount, of course. It's you know 12 million a day versus 6 million, but it's a newer network. It's also used far more as well. And there's a current burn of um, 200,000 per day from transaction fees. So we need a 60x increase to get to 12 million needed in terms of burn. So yes, the inflation on Solana is higher, but it's not as high as this. So just be aware if you see any, any maxi incorrect research like that. One other thing to keep in mind is that the Ethereum Foundation's notoriously good at selling the top. They have sold about $650 million, $654 million since 2021 of ETH, uh, which is decent. It can be absorbed, but that's fine. It's decent. And they just sold uh, a local top just recently, and then it fell 8.8%. Now, I don't know what Solana's doing, so I can't compare. Hamster Combat, news with a token generation event and the airdrop. This is going to be September 26th. Now, with Hamster, it's not it's nothing that I'm totally amazed with. It's just, I think this is a, this will bring on 
more people, that's why I spend five minutes. If you want more in depth on ton games, you have to look at other YouTubers. And what you'll find is they're typically people that have no crypto exposure and they're just trying to game a system. So I don't think they're going to take off very well. I had a thesis early with Hamster Combat. I'm not sure if it's going to play out. I still just spend five minutes just doing a couple of random things. They token a generation event and the airdrop September 26. If it works out, it works out. All we've spent is like five minutes a day on a kind of semi-fun, engaging game. Now, we've got a new thing to bookmark. The link will be below at the end of the stream. This is a new Solana calendar. So bookmark it, put it into your bar. And this is being reworked by Cassie, an absolute Notion wizard. And then it's updated by a couple of interns. This part here, this is an error with Notion. So that's why it's white, annoyingly. But it's it's they're aware of the bug and they're fixing it. So we can't see all the stuff under here, but you can like click on things to see what week it is. But this is now done in a really, really beautiful way. And I think a lot of people will be coming here to actually look at and use this every day. So where are we? 29th, reminder, bonk rewards, stake lock bonk for one year. If you've got any events that you want to add, if you're a project or if you're just someone in the community, just suggest event, just click to fill a form. Also doing a lot more live podcasts. So if you want to jump into doing a podcast, we'll have a podcast later today. Use this as well. But either way, send your friends here and that way you'll get all the offer. Simon's Cat News, this is your final reminder. The snapshot will be taken today, basically just bang on midnight before we roll over UTC time. This is what you have to qualify. I have made it pretty clear, but we'll do it one more time. It's either 400,000 Flocky on the BNB chain or the Ethereum chain. BNB's lower gas fees and easier, or you can hold some on Binance in your Binance account. My suggestion is just hold it in your MetaMask. Unsure what's going to, what's going to happen with the cat token, but I remember I'm bullish on it. I think Bonk guy is correct. And in terms of an airdrop, an expected timeline is two to three weeks. On this, you're probably going to ask after the snapshot, can I sell my Flocky? Probably, but I'm going to hold my Flocky. Jupiter had some new news. They mentioned this in yesterday's call. So they've integrated pump.fun and moonshot.cc by deck screener. So you can now search for any contract address and it's just go time. And then on top of that, Bonkbot and other bots like that, they will grab anything from Jupiter. So you can just get into things as fast as you like if there's something that takes your fancy. Now, DeFi is where more of my skill set is. So let's just reiterate, everyone should be using Camino. Camino, I'm very, very keen on. And remember, if you want to buy a dip, you can use Camino. You can put in soul, you can borrow against it, buy some USDC, get some more soul, stake that soul with validator.com, put it back into Camino. And you'll also be earning yield from lending your bags by putting it into Camino that allows you to basically buy more stuff. And that's on top of the fact that there are stimmy checks. So you can use Margin5 if that's an interest to you, but I really feel Camino is just the play. And remember in my 10K to 100K video I've done, I'm very, very keen on actually just more and more Camino. I don't know what the token price is doing. If people buy a token and it goes down short, short term, that's fine in my opinion. Like if you buy it down here, this is be very, very lucky. But if you bought it here just before it went to 5 cents, it's not about really, you can't time the bottom, you can't time the top. But if you get it down here and it has the explosion that I think it's going to have, nothing's financial advice, do your own research, but that's my viewpoint, then yeah, then you can start to take profit at like 10 cents, 20 cents, 60 cents, whatever. This here, a uh, total of 26 million interest has now been generated for lenders on Camino Lend. And also remember, global PYUSD, that's my token of choice now for stable coins. You can, the, the borrow has been raised to $20 million on Camino with any collateral assets. That can be Judo Soul and you can go and borrow. I'm unsure when that's gonna go. Probably pretty close to being gone, but check it out yourself. Pre-market listing for Magic Eden's token. I don't know a lot about Emmy. I'm not trading it or anything like that. I'm not gonna be selling it, but if you want to buy or sell, you can do it at Wales Market. Got a link below. And uh, the Magic Eden token has just climbed up significantly up to 27 cents per token. Somebody just bought at 15 cents for $19,000. So a bit of, bit of a bullish vibe there. They could go and sell it right now for a nice little arbitrage. Magic Eden's mint terminal is was was doing very well. It's basically like pump.fun for NFTs, as I mentioned yesterday. Should we add Sol and BTC support? Maybe. Either way, this could be something that could help bring back NFTs. Who knows? But uh, whale.mocha says this. I call it pump.mint, and it's either the best or the worst thing that's ever happened to NFTs. You can th read through this here, but I have no idea how it's going to play out, but it's a new feature. It's kind of cool. Remember, my wallet of choice is Soulflare. Like, it's just a better, it's a better wallet. But for the sake of being transparent with information, there's $100,000 in the MintFest prize pool. If you go and get the Magic Eden mobile wallet, you go and mint this for a couple of dollars, that could be worth your effort. 
I haven't actually done it yet myself. I'll do it today. And uh, also Magic Eden, they went and put out some of these NFTs. They were supposed to be a blink, but they weren't. So a little bit silly. They just linked to this launch pad and they all mentioned out very, very quickly. And this is the price, 15 cents. But then when you factor in the actual sole price to mint it on chain, it's, it's a little bit more. You can go and sell it for a little bit more than what you paid. Uh, there's been a few sales, but there's an open edition as well. And remember, just as a reminder, with your Soulflare wallet, go to settings, security and privacy, and make sure Solana Actions is turned on so that you can mint it like this. You'll see the extra soul charge, $3.89. I'm just doing it because I don't necessarily think we're going to get any diamonds or anything like that. It's cool. I, I dig it. For $4, I'm fine. This one is actually trading below, but at least you get to try out blinks. NX Finance has the IDEO roadmap reveal. My only actionable here is I've got a little bit of funds in it. Use my team, said Monty. It's you take your JLP, you leverage it up like dupe multiply. All of this stuff here, I'm going to see if we if they want to jump on and do a podcast and I'll do a similar kind of tokenomics breakdown to how I did with Solana ID. Flash.trade, I do not own any of these NFTs, but you get a yield boost if you have Flash Beast NFTs and that gets you a higher fee share from your FLP. So I might see if I can do some tutorials on this after Breakpoint. We'll see how we go. But this is a Perps Dex similar to Jupe Perps. Lilypad, they still have their public mint for Pathfinders on. Remember a couple of things. It's there's not a lot of demand, but there's no real downside to it. Um, I like what they're doing, but clearly the market does not, unfortunately. However, if you do get one, you don't burn it in order to get your soul back. That's silly. What you have to do is you have there will be like a dissolve button after the mint concludes. This will be the last time I'm going to mention Pathfinders unless something new happens. Drift Protocol has surpassed Polymarket in 24-hour volume for the first time. With these, like, I would like to be able to shout out more to Hedgehog Markets, but it's just not getting the liquidity, unfortunately. So hopefully they keep on building and can pull it pull it across. So check out Bet on Drift if you want to go and gamble, if you if you want to bet on the election or whatever. Some bit better than Polymarket, and Polymarket has been around for some time. The Ton Block stopped processing transactions one hour ago, so this happened to Solana. In the previous cycle, if you if you weren't aware, at one stage I think there was like nine stoppages, nine outages in like 18 months or something sizable. I may have that number wrong. Ultimately, yeah, this is not a good thing to happen, of course. But retail doesn't really care. A lot of people don't actually care because this is in the first stage of how blockchain goes. You need to make it faster. Things are not break. I wish it didn't, but it does, and that's just a reality. D Bridge has gone and put this tweet out here, uh, understanding the DBS upcoming LFG launch, the goals, mechanics, and the vision behind it. Still need to see like, what are we going to do with the actual token, which is why I'm really not excited. Maybe you are, and maybe I need to get them on a podcast and find out why we should be excited. Essentially, they've they've made it more exclusive. So if you're a Jupiter person or Dbridge with a certain amount, then you can go ahead and you can buy the token and you can check if you're eligible here. But other than that, um, remember, only 2% is actually going to the launch pad, which I think is really quite low. Um, but it does say the second goal is to form a deep protocol owned on-chain liquidity for DBR. This worries me a little bit. And the reason I say that is because this previous example shows that when it's protocol owned, it's good for the protocol. It's not necessarily that great for the actual users. So if we have a look at DeFi, we should see it here. Or if we look at liquidity, Lifinity. So this is an example of protocol owned, and I, I don't think that it like it's hard for you to capture a lot of the upside. That's my kind of viewpoint on that. All right, next bit of news here, Carrot. I'm going to be jumping on with JSP from the Carrot team today. Put out a live stream, be 5 p.m. my time, so 4 p.m. UT, 4 p.m. UTC. Tune in and just just get the get the alpha. This is brand new. This is in beta. You can use a, a beta pass to get in, and you can ask all your questions. Now, reminder, Breakpoint is coming. This is properly hyped. I saw a tweet. I think I bookmarked it, but I can't find it right now. Like this is the most number of people going to a breakpoint as far as I'm aware. This is properly hyped plus this token 2049. So if you are interested in other things that aren't just Solana, you can go to both, make a week of it, get there to breakpoint if at all possible. Yes, it's going to set you back with accommodation flights and everything like five grand or a little bit more potentially. But I think there it's so plus so much, there's so much value. It's definitely plus EV. Got a video on it so that you don't look like a, a silly person when you're over there doing cultural uh, cultural faux pas and, you know, trying to pay with things with you know, US dollars or whatever. Check this out. It'll be linked. And the other thing I want to mention is I, did, I put this out yesterday, 17 hours ago. This will change the way airdrops work forever. Solana ID. I, I did a, a decent amount of research into this. We did them a live stream with them. And I think that this has proper potential. So as part of the 10K to 100K challenge, if you're in that, we will be minting this and we will be trying to push our wallet into that top kind of rank. 
This is something that I see has a lot of market fit. That's why I made this video, but I'm not going to do a 10K to 100K video today. All right, let's jump into the actionables. So first one, download Magic Eden Wallet on mobile, Mint the Michi, 100K prize. But as I've said before, self is my wallet of choice. Stake in Millie Bonk with Bonk Rewards for 12 months. That gets your Bonk Dragon badge. Probably the best thing to call it. PYUSD Borrow. It's decent on Camino. If you want to take out a loan, check out Camino first. DCA Soul on Dupe.ag. And of course, always, always, always stake it with validator.com. We appreciate it. Place some stink bids on bid from 100 to 130 if you think it's going to go down. Book your tickets to Breakpoint and watch my Breakpoint video. And the airdrop actionables. Last time I'm going to mention with Flocky. For now, hold Flocky on Binance Centralized Exchange. You get 10% 10, 10 of all the cat airdrop is going there and 8% is going to people on chain. However, not maybe don't do it if you're in the US or UK, if you know there's some sort of regulations that will prevent that from happening. Hold a minimum of $100 of Flocky on BNB or, or the Ethereum chain. Not in a, a liquidity pool, just on that blockchain until that final snapshot. Put some dollars into DeFi Carrot. Use my code. It's actually uh, XMONTY, but actually just tune in later on today and see that live stream. And if you don't catch it live, just watch it afterwards. I'm sure it'll be jam-packed full of alpha. Uh, Scenarium Testnet Guide, we'll have that on Twitter later today. That's not related to Solana. It's related to Sony, but worth giving a go. And Hamster Combat TGE and Airdrop, September 26th. So five minutes on the toilet, if you wish. Play this game if you can. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the live stream or in the next video.